Hey y'all, it's your girl LA in LA, and today we are doing some fun Valentine's Day stuff. I have never had a boyfriend on Valentine's Day, and I do this year, which is great. One thing about Valentine's Day that is always crucial, and I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong. According to the title of this video, it is Valentine's Day tunes, y'all. Music that you listen to for Valentine's Day is not just Valentine's Day music. Valentine's Day music is every day. So honestly, I just figured that I would do a video where I gave you guys some nice little tunes to listen to. Tell y'all maybe what not to listen to if that ever comes up. I don't know. We don't know what this video is gonna lead to, but we do know that we will be listening to good Valentine's Day music. And wherever that may take us, we will be fastening our seatbelts and getting on the ride. Speaking of music, you guys, I'm wearing a dress from Oh Mighty, which if you guys do not know, Oh Mighty is amazing. The reason I bring up Oh Mighty is because I am wearing a Jimi Hendrix dress. The side detailing that they have on this dress is so perfect. Basically, this dress has a Jimi Hendrix quote on it. I'm super excited to share this music with you guys. If you guys want me to make a playlist for you, I could totally do that. It's really sweet, sexy, savage vibe that I'm go I have going on here. Like, similar to Kehlani, we're gonna do sweet, which is like cute and just like very lovey-dovey, and then we're gonna do sexy, you know, like the sexy time at some point. And then we're gonna do savage slash throwbacks. So this is gonna be called the sweet, sexy, savage throwback set. Session, you guys okay for each song I'll have the artist and the title of the song written down right here below on the screen so the first song is by emotional oranges and it's called just like you That was like the first song. I like vibey songs. Like it's very LA, like drop top is down. We're driving to the beach and we're about to have a picnic and I'm about to confess my love to you. That's the vibe of that song. And if that's the vibe you're looking for on Valentine's day, y'all, you better add that to your playlist on your way to your date, okay? Before I play this next song, I have the most cheesiest grin on my face right now because since I was the youngest girl on this planet, like probably in the womb, I have been in love with Justin Bieber. I have been dedicated to this man for years, at least 10 years now. He has been the longest commitment in my life. <laughs> so at first, you guys, I really did not like the song, but I love Kehlani. Subconsciously, I didn't even realize it, but I put her on here. I thought I didn't have any song by her, but yeah, I'm gonna play it. We're gonna see it if you guys like it. I think it's Valentine's Day worthy because the song gets me, guys. Judging by the way you open up, get me. Ooh, out of this world and so I'm baby now you send me. Looking at the way we're blending in, you get me. get me that they hit right there yo fire fire y'all can't say nothing the next song i have queued up is not something i typically listen to it's not something i even it's not an artist i really listen to but i love this song i love the song so i'm gonna just play it and let it speak for itself Weird, I know. Weird that I like it, trust me. The next song we're gonna be listening to is... Do you love the rain? Does it make it dance when you're drunk with your friends at a party? What's your favorite song? Does it make you smile? Do you think of me? When you close your eyes, tell me what are you dreaming? Every day I wanna know it all. The main reason 
I really like the song is the fact that like they're pointing out that love is effort, love is work, love isn't just, it's not a blanket like statement. Love is like a real ass action. Love is as much loving as drive is driving. You know, like it's, you have to put in the effort. You have to put your foot on the pedal. You have to, I don't know, I don't drive. I don't know why I use that as an example, but you guys get the gist. <laughs> So guys, these are on shuffle, so I don't really know what's coming up next as of now, but just know that I have prepared these songs. Let's just hope it's a good one. Oh, yes. <laughs> Too. I mean Harry Styles really came in with it like he really did his thing, but y'all want to know who else has really been doing their thing I'm about to play is a song that Sam and I listened to a lot when we first got into a relationship and we've been friends for like a bunch of years like probably two three years and so it was just a very like big decision to to begin a relationship and like I would rather have like one person love me and just it be so much and so like you know so real and so deep than have like 20 people love me and really it be so shallow you know um all around so this song, anyways, that I picked to play next is very special because we love Lucas Graham. We do. There are days I wake up and I pinch myself. You're with me like someone else. And I'm scared, yeah, I'm still scared. That is all a dream. I love that song, it's very meaningful to us. The next song I will play is Overtime by Bryson Tiller. Um, I just realized that I really love the song and I wanted to put this in here, so let's bring it back real quick. You know how I feel about like, us, like, how I wanna go about it, but you never tell me how you feel about it. You know I've been working overtime, working overtime, working overtime. Overtime is one of my favorite songs. Bryson Tiller has been an artist that got me through so much stuff. I know I said we we're gonna do Sweet Sexy Savage, so we should be doing Sexy, but I wanted to save Sexy for last because I just feel like it's part of the video that, you know, if you don't wanna see, you can just click out after this. Um, let's just do some throwbacks for now because throwbacks are amazing. <laughs> In the meantime, until Sam gets here, let's move on to some other songs. So in the meantime, until Sam gets here, let's just play some more tunes, you guys. Um, and the sun begins to fade. Still 
Guys, let's play the next song and see what we have. The next song is the last song that I have of like the throwbacks slash savage section of this music f thing that I'm doing. Um, let's listen to this one because I think it might be my favorite one. Oh. So as we know, I am a Justin oh Bieber God, fan. Oh God, no. This is not happening. Please <laughs> so don't plug him. I heard he did. Oh God. Um, I am going to play the song. Even though I'm sure y'all have heard it like 30,000 times, but here we go. And it's awful. I like intention to way better. Can we just talk about how Justin Bieber was gone for a year and the first thing he drops is this. He's been gone for like two, three years, but it's okay. Uh, I don't, I mean, I didn't Also, notice. yeah, intentions is fire. Yeah. Thank you to Sam for coming to the end of this video and <laughs> listening to some tunes with us, because that was really fun. You're very welcome. Also, Make sure you like and subscribe, <laughs> ring that bell, because you know you want those notifications. He said it, not me. My, 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 my,